This is Centipede, the 1999 remake of the 1980 classic for the Sega Dreamcast. One of the more interesting classic arcade remakes that I've ever played. And one that almost gets it right. It's close. For starters, this is a game that is not terribly popular, to put it mildly, and I don't think that you can go into it expecting it to be a remake of the classic Centipede, because it's not a remake. But when you're asked to save the world, you don't ask why. It shares the same name and some sound effects, and a few gameplay elements here and there, but it's a totally different game, as you can see. And for the most part, for like 95% of the time that you're playing the game, after you get the hang of the controls, which are a bit tricky at first, Centipede plays really well and can be a lot of fun. If you're used to the original Centipede, the awesome arcade shooter with the trackball, you've got to give this new version of Centipede some room to breathe and some time to grow on you. The problem is that once you get into it and you've become accustomed to the controls and the style of gameplay and start to like the game, it then turns on you. I'll get right to the point. After playing through the first couple levels several times and really mastering the gameplay elements, I started to actually like this version of Centipede until I got to the first end boss. And I think the problem here is, at least for me, the, the, the end boss, this guy here, is like the end boss in a spaceship shooter. But the controls in this game are not as nimble or precise as they are in spaceship shooters, so dodging things is difficult, and it's extremely easy to run into the spiders. In fact, every time I would get this guy into the red and just about destroy him, I would back into a spider, which was no longer fun. That, that's frustrating. But the single biggest problem I have with this is that even if you get to this guy with 10 extra lives, if you lose a life while fighting him, you then start at the beginning of the boss battle. I mean, the whole point of getting extra lives is so you have a cushion. But when you die each time after he either shoots you or you back into a spider, it's just like, what's the point? And there are some spaceship shooters that are like that too, and they're usually not my favorite, but uh, the real difference here is that the controls in Centipede are not that precise. You move the guy around and rotate the screen with the thumbstick on the Dreamcast controller, which is an awkward thumbstick and extremely twitchy and touchy. You can strafe moving left and right with the triggers on the Dreamcast controller, and that works pretty well. And the buttons themselves fire and shoot your special weapons. There's several different camera perspectives. The only one that's really worth anything is this one where it's pulled back because you will back into enemies all of the time if you don't know they're there. The bizarre storyline and animation at the beginning of the game and the whole visual style in Centipede is definitely awkward and lacks the charm of the original arcade machine and the artwork on the boxes from various home console ports like the Atari 7800 version of Centipede. And even if you don't like the old versions, I, I don't think the art style in this game is terribly likable. But it's forgivable when it plays well. Centipede is not without its merits, but it's also not without its problems. However, it is extremely cheap these days if you'd like to give it a try. I'm not going to tell you not to, it's not an awful game. It's awkward, but not unplayable, and if you're up for a serious challenge, Centipede will deliver. This game is also available for the PC and the original PlayStation. I haven't played those versions, maybe the controls work better on them. And as you might expect from the title, you do get the original old school version of Centipede along with this new version of Centipede. I think the game probably should have had a different title like Centipede Resurrection or something silly like that, but whatever, it's Centipede, it's super duper cheap, and if all you've heard is bad things about it, it's, n it's not that bad. It's not great, but it's not that bad either.